Hi friends, I'm so excited to be back. Now today, Miss Yang has a math activity that I need your help with, my friends. Do you think you can help me? Great, my friends. So this math activity has to do with some counting and I know my friends are really, really good at counting so I know you can help me out. Now Miss Yang here has some rain clouds but there's something that's missing from these rain clouds. What do you think is missing? That's right, it's missing some rain. So each of these clouds has a different number on it and that tells us how many raindrops each rain cloud needs. So what you're going to need is you're gonna need some rain clouds if you wanna do this at home. You need some rain clouds and you also need either a stamping pad or you can even use some blue paint. So are you ready to help Miss Yang? Great, let's get started. So like I said, my friends, all you're going to need is some rain clouds and some numbers inside the rain clouds that tell you how many raindrops that you need. And you're also gonna need some paint or an ink pad. So, Miss Yang's already done the first one. As you can see, on this rain cloud, there's the number one. So Miss Yang has put one raindrop. So let's do the next one, my friends. Now this next rain cloud, can you tell me what number you see on the rain cloud? That's right, it's the number two. So I'm gonna need to put two raindrops. So I'm going to put my finger into the ink pad. I'm going to stamp one raindrop and two raindrops. So now I have two raindrops for the number two. You can put them anywhere, my friends, as long as you've got two of them. Now the next one, what number do you see on this rain cloud? That's right, it's the number three. So we're going to put three raindrops. I'm going to press my finger into the ink pad and I'm going to do one, two, and three. So now I've got three raindrops coming from the number three rain cloud. And the last one on this paper is what number, my friends? That's right, it's the number four. So Miss Yang is going to put one, two, three, and four. So now I've got four raindrops on the number four rain cloud. And there's the first one, my friends. Thank you so much for helping me count. Let's do another one, my friends. Let's make it a little bit harder. We're gonna count some bigger numbers. So now, my friends, I have another piece of paper with some more rain clouds, but this time there are some bigger numbers on the rain cloud. So are you ready to count with me, my friends? Great, I'm so excited. So the first rain cloud, what number do you see on the first rain cloud right there? That's right, it's the number five. So we're gonna need to put five raindrops uh, coming from the number five rain cloud. So we're gonna put one, two, three, four, and five. Awesome counting, my friends. Let's do the next one. What number is that, my friends? Can you guess? That's right, it's the number six. So I'm gonna need to put six raindrops. I hope you're counting with me, my friends. One, two, three, four, five, and last one, six. Wow, that's a lot of raindrops, my friends. So let's keep going. We're gonna do some more raindrops, my friends. Now this number, can anybody tell me what number that is? That's right, it's the number seven. So we're gonna to need to put seven raindrops. Miss Yang's gonna put her finger into the ink pad. I'm gonna start one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now the more raindrops you have, the more space you're gonna have to uh, start using up for your raindrops. So you gotta be careful not to put them too far apart or too big of a raindrop or else they might not have space. So the last number, my friends, we're going to do is, what number is that? It's the number eight. Good job. So we're gonna put eight. Let's count all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
great job. Thank you so much for helping me finish all my rain clouds and finish all the numbers. Awesome job, my friends. So like Miss Yang said, uh, you can use anything that you want that you have at home. Miss Yang had an ink pad, so Miss Yang used the ink pad to make my raindrops. But if you have some paint at home, you can use paint. If you have markers or crayons or pencil crayons, you can use those too. So what you can do is when you do your drops, you can make little circles or you can make them look like raindrops. So you're going to do some little circles. This one has nine, so we're going to do nine raindrops. So, like I said, if you don't have ink pads or paint at home, you can always use a marker to draw little circles for the raindrops. So my friends, thank you so much for helping me with my rain cloud math. I'm so glad you got to count with me to help me put all the raindrops onto the paper. Now at home, you can always, if you want to try this activity, you can always ask your mommy or daddy to draw some rain clouds and then put the numbers in. Or if you want, you can find a link in the description so that your mommy or daddy can print out um, these papers. All right. I can't wait to see you next time, my friends. Bye.